What is an API in software? An API is a set of related functions, which is the definition of an interface, that is meant to be used in a computer program. And here's where the problems start. That definition is intentionally vague, which leads to people saying outlandish things like, this naturally leads to a major question. What kinds of functions are we talking here? Well, the function can actually be defined anywhere, either on someone else's computer, as an HTTP server, for example, or even in your own computer program through libraries you've installed with a package manager. In fact, the functions can even exist physically instead of digitally. Some suggest that the first API was actually implemented through punch cards on paper in 1951. Now let's talk about how APIs tend to be used. Imagine you're working on an e-commerce app. When coding up the shopping cart feature, you will likely have to do two things. Update a user's cart, and then update the item's inventory. In other words, you will need to perform two database actions. Here's where APIs come in. What you do is create an HTTP API, for example, where there's a single function that captures the concept of add to cart by performing those two database actions behind the scenes. By doing so, you've created an interface of meaningful actions that can be taken in your app. Your operating system also provides an API that's very important. All operating systems like Mac OS and Windows come with a set of functions called system calls, meant to be used by programming languages like C. These system calls are special functions that enable programmers to do things like read bytes from a file or read bytes from a network connection. So what's the benefit of using an API? The short answer is interchangeability. In the operating system example, let's say you wrote a program that you also want to be able to run on a new operating system. As long as any future operating system has the same set of system calls, in other words, the same API, then you should be able to run your program on that new operating system. In general, this enables the API maintainer to change and improve their code without the users of the API, like you, the programmer, noticing. I deeply hope that if you felt confused about APIs up until now, that this video at least gets you to a point where you can begin to understand conversations involving APIs. If this video did help, please subscribe and share so that the channel can grow. And thanks for watching.